light in her eyes go out. Stayed with her until she went cold. Magic. Constantine tells us that with the Source we'll live forever, that we'll finally look upon the face of God. But I already have. This is where I'm supposed to be. Took me so long to find it, but this is it. I'm home. Okay, let's begin. It's Tuesday, the 25th of July, and I am here with Miss Lara Croft. How are you this afternoon, Miss Croft? Fine, thank you. Miss Croft, there's a bit of a joke about the word fine in psychiatry, that it often stands for feelings inside not expressed. Hmm, I thought jokes were supposed to be funny. It's possible I oversold its value as a joke. However, if we're going to get anything out of our time together, you need to be honest. Now, can you honestly tell me that you feel... fine? No. Not for a while. Laura is almost completely closed off. But it's clear that she's in pain. Trinity will undoubtedly want me to use this against her. Tell me more about the dreams. Nightmares. And I, I don't remember them, just the feelings that remain. In dreams, the feelings are often more important than the specifics. Tell me about those feelings. I'm on the island and my friends are dying. There's nothing I can do and it's all my fault. Lara, from what you've told me, your friends survived the island because of you. Only a few of them. None of them would have survived if you hadn't been there. It's not your fault. None of them would have been there if it wasn't for me. Of course it's all my fault. Ah. <sighs> Guilt is a common driver in the Croft family. We used it to great effect with her father. Let's see where it takes Lara. Have you reached out to the other survivors since your return? Have you been in touch with your friend Sam? You know I haven't. Even if her doctors let me, she doesn't want to see me. You were very close to her before the island. <sighs> Don't do this. That must be very difficult, to be separated from the people you need the most. When a trauma is shared, the healing process can be accelerated by talking to the people you shared it with. Can we not do the whole patronizing sympathy thing? You know it hurts. I've told you it does. But it's what Sam wants. I have to accept that. I can listen to what you have to say. But you have to open up to someone, Lara. You're not alone, no matter how much you think you are. Perhaps we're pushing her too hard. I'll reach out to her and test the waters. If she's ready to open up to someone, it needs to be me. So, Lara. I want to talk about your father. I understand you've been asking about his research at the university. I just had some questions. There's so much in my head, but I don't have the connections. My father was researching something very similar to what I experienced on the island. I don't think this will help you move on from that trauma. Quite the opposite, in fact. Um, it's been helping. It's, um... It's given me focus. But your father was... How to best put this? Unhinged. Insane. Well, that's what people are saying about me now. Precisely my point, Lara. You can't continue to let your emotions get the better of you. This is a good sign. Lara's getting angry, and when she's angry, she takes action. We should push her even more. Direct her anger in the right way. Trinity believes I'm wasting my time, but if there's anyone who can crack her father's research, it's Lara.
That's the third time you've mentioned Jonah today. You've been spending a great deal of time with him. He's one of the few people who understands what I went through. I worry that only spending time with him might not be healthy for you. Oh, really? Care to explain? He's a reminder of the past. You're going back to the island in your head over and over again, to the exclusion of everything else. Jonah makes me feel like myself, and he doesn't charge an hourly rate. Jonah is becoming a problem. He's a calming influence, and she listens to him. He'll pull her away from her research. Before long, I'll need him out of the picture. Would you say you have control issues, Lara? Doesn't everyone... I mean, no one wants to feel out of control, do they? But not everyone has been through what you have. I had to take control of the situation. If I didn't, then we'd all have died on that island. And did you enjoy taking control? You mean killing, don't you? Did I enjoy killing? I did it because I had no choice. Lara is avoiding the tough questions. It's hard to tell if she's merely being stubborn or she's actually frightened of the answers. By the end of this, she may have to face a hard truth about the kind of person she's become. We began... I finally laid... I received word today that university funding would be cut again. It's becoming increasingly difficult to continue. I face constant ridicule from people I once considered colleagues and friends. They have no idea. There is a truth behind all myth. The stories of all cultures speak a universal language, and they point to a startling possibility. The world is not what we think. Our lives are not what we think. If I continue, I face isolation. I will become a pariah. But I will continue. For Amelia. It was her death that set me on this path, and for her, I cannot waver. I wish every night that she was still here, that I'd had the tools to help her. Lara has accused me of paranoia again. Perhaps she's right. But I've been approached by people asking to see my research, people offering no credentials. I'm sure someone is watching me. Strangers outside the manor house, odd phone calls at odd hours, and then last night, the house alarm was tripped. Someone had tried to break in. I believe they represent an organization called Trinity. There are oblique references to them in much of my work, but what they're after, I do not know. I've begun taking steps to ensure my work remains secure. One day, I hope Lara will understand why I did all this. Received an invite today to speak at a conference on folklore and anthropology. Of course, I've only been invited as a figure of fun. They only want to ridicule me and my ideas. But the point of this work is not to keep it in the shadows. The point is to expose it, to help bring the truth to the world. Amelia believed that it was noble to face adversity head on. That strength was born from inside oneself. She was right. She was always right. For better or worse, I will accept the invitation. The conference was, of course, a disaster. I might as well have been booed from the podium. 
And yet, I am in the best mood I've been in years. I met someone there, an admirer. She approached me after the slaughter. I nearly flinched, expecting her to continue the beating. But instead, she simply asked to hear more about my work. And when I started to talk, her questions were not loaded with cynicism. Instead, they were intelligent, almost innocent in their inquisitiveness. We spoke for hours. She says her name is Anna. I've invited her to dine with me when we're all back in London. Having Anna in my life has put new wind in my sails. She's helped me focus my work, helped organize my research. She's even offered to become my editor. I never thought I'd find such an eager collaborator. Her presence in the manor has revitalized everything. The rooms have life again. I feel I have life again. But I am worried what Lara will think. Her emotions are more guarded than mine. I worry she thinks I'm trying to replace her mother. But I'm not. I'm simply trying to find what happiness I can in this life. Lara will just have to understand that. New developments. I found an old manuscript buried and forgotten under a heap of pseudo-scientific texts. As I began translating it, I realized what I had, a record of the Deathless Prophet. I'm still working on the translation, but already it has provided details of his life I'd never read before. There may just be enough here to find the location of his tomb. This manuscript could be it, the singular piece of research that will bring all of my work on the immortal soul together. Revelations are coming quickly. There is much work to be done. Tonight over dinner, I'm going to celebrate with Anna.
Soviet military dog tags, standard issue. The name is Yuri Ravdonikas. Hmm. The word convicted is stamped on the back of the tag. Lights still work? Looks like pitch blend. Must have been a uranium mine. My god, these are ancient. What did they find down here? Looks flammable. entrance. More artifacts. They must have broken through into an old passage. I've got to see it for myself.
This flask belonged to a soldier in the Red Army. Hmm. I don't recognize the insignia. <laughs> it's still half full. I may need this before I'm done here. Whatever they found, it's got to be in there. Someone was hiding mining tools. We can no longer wait for our brothers outside the mines to begin their resistance. The Soviets have found something they desire more than the poison ore. They found our forefathers' history, have desecrated their tombs. This is the last injustice. We thought at first the old guardians would emerge and punish our tormentors. But now I see we will have to be the instrument of God's retribution. We gather our strength, store picks and axes in secret places. Very soon, those of us that are still well enough will rise up and bury our repressors here before they erase our past along with our present. Makeshift weapons. Trigger mechanism for a bomb. It's the same handiwork. He must have been gathering the supplies for a long time. Those minecarts. Perhaps they could block the water. <sighs> there it is. So close. Got to find a way inside. When the uranium ore was nearly gone, I feared our operation was at an end. But even as we moved to close the shaft, fate intervened. We found a chamber, half destroyed by a cave-in, but clearly made by the hands of man. The artifacts inside are ancient, nearly a thousand years old, untouched since the tomb was sealed. We redouble our efforts. Instead of mining, the workers now search and retrieve the artifacts inside. The natives of the valley, their resistance once broken, now bristle at this new assignment, as if they do not wish the relics to be seen. We will need to make an example of a few young men before their dark looks lead to something more. Those minecarts. 
Perhaps they could block the water. to free another cart. <sighs> Must be a way to free another cart. Must be a way to free another cart. a way to free another cart. the mural.
philosophical argument on the virtue of awareness. <sighs> Looks like they dragged it out of here. So much damage between the amateur excavation and the cave-in. But it must be connected to the Prophet. This shaft must have been where they first broke through. Should lead out as well. Hero of the Soviet Union Medal. It's the highest honor given for acts of heroism. Perhaps one of the Gulag officers? Another Soviet plaque. 